Hello gentlemen, I am Kasim Shinwari, the project management expert with you in this uh, fourth tutorial of the brand new series of Primavera P6. Uh, and uh, as we have learned how to add the calendars in the previous tutorial and how to set up the environment of the P6, uh, now it's time uh, to create work breakdown structure. Work breakdown structure, generally referred as WBS, uh, helps us organizing uh, our work. There are many advantages. Uh, let us define it and let us know how to define it. In this tutorial, I am keeping it very simple, up to two levels. One is the superstructure and one is the substructure. So let's get started to see how it works in P6. What is work breakdown structure and why they are used? The WBS codes, that is the work breakdown structure codes, are used to define and organize the project elements so we can clearly identify the deliverables and report and summarize schedule and cost data at different levels of detail. It is better to define a work breakdown structure, WBS, before adding activities. You can also define work breakdown structure after defining activities but it is preferred uh, to be made before because it will uh, help us uh, to input the complete scope of work. So let us uh, check out the work breakdown structure. The WBS work breakdown structure command is under project menu and then WBS. <clears throat> the WBS uh, window is now open we will define uh, a basic work breakdown structure uh, so that I can demonstrate you how to add a work breakdown structure. Once you understand uh, the basic portion, you, later on you can define a detailed work breakdown structure on your own. Uh, I will click add button on the command toolbar or I can press insert on my keyboard. Now, uh, I will add the first as a breakdown structure as substructure. The substructure. Next. I will press insert on my keyboard again and then will define superstructure. You can see that this is now uh, in a hierarchical stage. If you cannot see like this, you can use this intending buttons on your command toolbar you can adjust it here and if you cannot see it what you can do is to click WPS code once twice or maybe thrice unless you see this specific uh, icon on your WPS code column now superstructure I will move it out so under construction of villa project I have substructure activity uh, WPS and I have superstructure WBS. For this specific training, I will keep up to two uh, WBS elements and I will not uh, define any furthermore to keep it simple to understand the uh, commands of WBS and then afterwards. In your project, uh, you will be having a compre comprehensive and detailed as well as detailed WBS required for the project which you can define in the same fashion like I have done here. If you are not from the construction field then uh, let me tell you that this substructure means all the work below ground. Superstructure means all the work above ground. You can adjust the columns uh, customize the columns by right clicking and clicking on columns and then click customize press escape 
to remove this or you can directly click on columns here customize so there are different methods for each command uh, what is easy for you do that way but use a standard method throughout your career so it will be you can work fast wasn't it easy it was actually uh, so work breakdown structure at this initial level you learned uh, how to define up to two levels uh, you, in your real life projects depending on the project complexity the WBS level may vary uh, so this was it uh, in next video tutorial uh, we will learn the upcoming tutorials how to add activities and so on so stay connected uh, subscribe to our youtube channel uh, don't forget to visit our site kasim shinwari com and you can also drop your opinions to me at mail m a i l mail at kasimshinwari com thank you